improvement of our road infrastructure since independence has been somewhat admirable, with many roads in the country that were previously untarred seeing transformation and providing access to the different communities in the country. The country has also seen some Namibians reap the benefits of road construction tenders. However, the annual rainy season has revealed the poor standard of workmanship and potholes are now the order of the day. Namibians expressed outrage over this newly constructed road to Opuo that appears to have been made of sherbet. Michaela posted, shocking, a newly constructed road. Roads Authority tell us what's up. Do we have the year of reckoning or not, Mr. President? Erica posted, real poor workmanship. Thanks to the rainwater which has exposed it. It's only after independence that I'm exposed to potholes in this country. Just wait for a few more years to come and we'll tell another story. No man, the top layers are just too thin. And Fox posted, I said it before and I'll say it again, that Namibians will pay dearly all the funds borrowed through so-called cheap loans from China and elsewhere that funded poorly executed capital projects like this one. Thanks to Swapo businessmen and women who also evaded payments of taxes to the receiver of revenue. On a recent trip to the coast, it's a wrap stopped in Usakos and also found gaping potholes in the town reminiscent of Darfur. Some shopkeepers spoke to it's a wrap on the condition of anonymity as they would soon need to reapply for permits from the town council and lamented the fact that the garbage in the town had not been collected for two weeks and that the council also takes very long to repair damaged infrastructure. <laughs> I spoke to the town council's new CEO, Ivan Lombard, about his plans to revive the town. We are uh, looking at uh, how can we uh, first and foremost um, retain the, the current uh, business people in Osakos, but also how do we encourage them to expand uh, their, their business activities. Uh, so because we already have them in the town, so how do we get them to expand? So we are talking to business people, getting ideas, uh, cleaning up our pavements, cleaning up the streets, uh, and so on and so forth, to help them to, to see um, uh, potential in, in uh, expanding their, their businesses. We're also looking at how can we uh, plug um, all the leaks, uh, economic leaks that are taking place in this country, I mean in this uh, town. There are certain activities, uh, economic activities, which I think Usakos can provide, uh, because Usakos is very strategically located uh, along the B2 road from Venduk to, to Swakopmund. We are currently seeing that um, there are many investors who have equally realized uh, that same potential and are looking at Usakos as a place to, to base themselves to, to operate from. We will not achieve some of these things if we don't take care of some of the basics and this is as far as service provision is concerned. Uh, for example, just today we have started a major a cleaning campaign. If you go to the outskirts of, of the, the town today, you will see our people uh, picking up uh, all the litter, uh, refuse and so on that's lying around in the streets. We plan on taking care of uh, the potholes situation in, in the town because some of, many of our roads are actually uh, quite dated. They are, they are old um, and they need attention. Uh, we have received some funding from uh, the Road Fund Administration to basically uh, settle the situation as far as potholes and so on is concerned and that work will, uh, will start this week as well. We are looking into how can we also resurface um, uh, all the roads uh, uh, so that uh, we make them look uh, brand new and so on. We will take care of all the uh, markings, the road markings to make sure that people know what they are supposed to do when they get to a stop sign or, or a yield sign or whatever the case case might be. So those are some of the, the, the immediate things that, that, that we are looking into. But another major thing that we are looking at is to rebrand Usakos. At the moment, 
um, our logo or our coat of arms as a town is, is actually also quite uh, old and uh, it does not reflect uh, the, the, the reality of today of what type of a place Usakos is and what we are trying to do is bring Usakos into the modern era.